looks like the Berejiklian government will be returned, but with a narrower margin. There's lessons for both major parties out of this. It looks like we're going to have uh, at least three Greens, two or three shooters, uh, an extra independent, which will take the number of independents to three. So we're going to have a pretty interesting parliament in New South Wales. It really hasn't been all that great a night for the major parties. And we do have more work to do if we're not going to see a continual erosion of public confidence in the political system. There is a rise of independence. The others' vote was something like 11.5%. And then the Greens got a fair swag of the vote, lower than last time, which goes to show that if you have disunity within your party, as we have in New South Wales and the Greens, it's going to cost you at the ballot box. The shooters look like they will gain at least one more seat, taking their total to two, and possibly three. And that's coming at the expense of the nationals. So there's something going on in the electorate. And I think what we can learn from this is that the nationals have taken their country voters for granted. They also look like they could lose Dubbo, which was a seat they held with a 20% margin. For Labor, the message is um, it's going to be very hard to make gains in Western Sydney. They've made absolutely no headway in some of the suburban seats in outer Sydney. So that's going to be a bit of a lesson for them federally as well. Those seats are volatile and they're capable of voting Liberal. Thank you so much. And I look forward to